My name is Joe Van Wyk and I live in Austin, Texas. I'm doing a series exploring mindfulness, not because I'm an expert, but because I'm a learner. Please click subscribe to watch more. All right, true confessions. I am heading to a place that used to cause me so much anxiety. I still struggle with it from time to time, but it's nothing like it used to be. And I've learned this mindfulness technique that really helps. So you tell me, am I at the hospital, uh, the county jail? No, much worse. I know you guessed it. It's the grocery store. What is up with these places? Don't you feel like the grocery store is a giant maze? They can be cavernous, crowded, claustrophobic, and downright confusing. Better cover every aisle or you might forget something clear across the store. How many kinds of apples are there anyway? And what about those checkout lines? It's enough to make anyone lose it. <laughs> so one day in the grocery store, I was in the middle of the aisle and I was totally overwhelmed. I guess I was having a minor panic attack. And in fact, I was getting ready to ditch my cart altogether and I just stopped and I remembered some mindfulness training that I had had and this idea of observing and describing and um, right about that moment I turned and out of this whole ocean of products I saw this one single product and I'll show you what it was. It was a jar of jelly of all things. So the thing is, I let my concentration fall on that jelly jar. I looked at it and I, and I just noticed all kinds of details about it. And the more detail that I got, like who would I thought there was a, some kind of a stagecoach back here? And look at these leaves, all of the details in all of these leaves here and the gradation in the purple on those grapes the more that I looked at the detail the more I observed the deeper I got into it one thing at a time like letting letting my eyes follow the outline of that little bitty vine like I was cocooned it was like I was walled off from all the um, all the chaos and the sensory overload going on uh, at the store at that time. So it didn't take me long focusing on that jelly jar for my focus to return and for me to kind of get back into a state of calm and it's thanks, thanks to mindfulness uh, and that amazing power of, of description and observation that got me to I finished my grocery trip that day and I didn't ditch my card on somebody. Another successful trip to the grocery store. You know, mindfulness is so cool because it's just, it's so practical and you get to see the results right away. Who would have known that all it took to get me over my grocery store freak out was a simple jar of jelly. Oh, I'm testing out this little, this new gimbal of 